Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. How are you all? Everything fine? 20th century criticism today, 23rd day of the crash course. I hope you have been enjoying all the other days. And I hope you have been studying. Thank you so much for coming and thank you for your love, everything. Today we have some very good questions and information for you. We are starting with reminding you total English solutions. We are starting with a game. Is it quiz competition video you watched? Thank you. Now we are starting with a game as usual. Come and log in everybody. We are starting now. Yeah. First question. Pick the right one. Who is called critics critic? Bolo, who is called critics critic? Admit card will come, guys. Don't worry. Abhi time hai. Critics critic is Matthew Arnold. Why is Matthew Arnold called critics critic? Because he talked about criticism at length. Matthew Arnold talked, ta talked at length about criticism. Hazlitt also is called, but out of the two, it is Matthew Arnold. Others are also called sometimes critics, critics. Whoever talked about critics, criticism is Matthew Arnold. T.S. Eliot also talked about criticism, but he is called a new critic at that time and a modernist. Did you understand? Uh, Matthew Arnold was the last of the humanists. Matthew Arnold was a classical uh, critic. He was a moralist. Anna? And uh, he advocated high seriousness as Kartiga is reminding us. Matthew Arnold advocated high seriousness, truth and high seriousness. Matthew Arnold believed that criticism should propagate the best that is known and thought in the world. Criticism should propagate the best that is known and thought in the world. Anna? Very good. So Matthew Arnold we remember. Then tell me, identify this. Took 17 years to write. Subsequently published in five volumes. Which is the book? Took 70, disinterestedness also. Yeah, touchstone method also, correct. Matthew Arnold talked about disinterestedness, touchstone method. Yeah. Which is the book that took 17 years to write? Subsequently in five volumes. Bolo. Which book took 17 years to write? It is Modern Painters by John Ruskin. Correct. Modern Painters by John Ruskin took 17 years to write and was subsequently published in five volumes. Remember that. 17 years he wrote it and published in five volumes. Ruskin's Modern Painters. Now, these are the drawbacks of which writer? All practical criticism is criticism of life. All critical concepts are borrowed of this writer. Favored biographical interpretation. No. No. Yeah, never speaks of the aesthetic pleasure of a poem. Which writer, which critic had these drawbacks? All practical criticism is criticism of life, he thought. All critical concepts of this writer are borrowed. Favored by graphical interpretation. Absolutely, it is Matthew Arnold. It is Matthew Arnold. Now, 
author of a system of logic, utilitarianism on liberty. This is just a recap of Victorian writers. These are just a recap of Victorian writers we are doing. Today in our crash course, there is a new session. We, we have done this in, in literature also, extemporary question session. Yeah. Bolo, it is John Stuart Mill. John Stuart Mill is the author of a system of logic. Don't forget that, okay? A system of logic, utilitarianism and on liberty. Founder of the sociological school of criticism. Founder of the sociological school of criticism. Founder of the sociological school of criticism is Matthew Arnold. It is Matthew Arnold. Divisions of which work is this? Of King's Treasuries of Queen's Gardens. These two are the divisions of which work? Of King's Treasuries and of Queen's Gardens. It is, as you know, Sesame and Lilies by John Ruskin. Sesame and Lilies by John Ruskin has two sections. Of King's Treasuries and of Queen's Gardens. Alright. Introduced scientific objectivity to criticism through touchstone method. Everybody knows. Sociological school means literature should, criticism should move from literature to society. There should be a social angle to criticism. That is the meaning. It is self-evident. Literature should move from Criticism should move from literature to society and he did that in culture and anarchy. Arnold did that in culture and anarchy. Right. Scientific objectivity he introduced in touchstone method. In touchstone method he is bringing about a style of criticism which anybody can do. do. You should compare uh, contemporary literature with ancient literature, with excerpts from Homer, Dante, Milton and Shakespeare. You should compare contemporary literature with Homer, excerpts from Homer, Dante, Milton and Shakespeare. That is the meaning, okay, of uh, objectivity. Scientific objectivity means it is not subjective. In the Romantic period, people um, in, uh, did criticism in a subjective manner. Impressionistic criticism, for example, is a subjective kind of criticism. Will you remember everyone? Very good. Now, Matthew Arnold introduced scientific objectivity. Please like the video, guys. Tradition and the individual talent was influenced by Dash. Tradition and the individual talent. Influenced by Tain and Saint Tebue or Bergson and Babbitt. It is Bergson and Babbitt. Andre Bergson is the author of Creative Evolution and Irving Babbitt is a new humanist. Irving Babbitt is a new humanist. And now, uh, Tain and Saint Tebue influenced Arnold. Tain and Saint Tebue are the people who influenced Arnold. Tain and Saint Tebue influenced Arnold. Got it, guys? Okay, then. <laughs> Propagated the best that was known and thought in the world. Bolo. Propagated the best that was known and thought in the world. It is definitely Matthew Arnold. Propagated the best that was known and thought in the world. Matthew Arnold. The first president of Moscow Linguistic Society. The first president of Moscow Linguistic uh, Circle. It is A or B. It is Philip Fedorovich Fortunatov. Philip Fedorovich Fortunatov. Then, noted member of Opoyas, founded by Viktor Shkolovsky. Noted member of Opoyas. Who is it? It is Boris Eisenbaum. Boris Eisenbaum. Uh, remember, Moscow Linguistic Circle and Opoyas. They were the two Russian branches of Russian formalism. After that, they moved to uh, 
Prague and formed Prague Linguistic Society. First, Moscow Linguistic Circle, then Opoyas, then Prague Linguistic Society. Remember that. And uh, in uh, Prague also, Roman Jakobson was a very important figure. Then, I will... Let me change this because because I want you to be clear. The first modern critic, who is the first modern critic? Who is called the first modern critic who introduced objectivity? The first modern critic who introduced objectivity? Matthew Arnold. Matthew Arnold introduced uh, objectivity. Before Eliot, Ma Arnold is a modern critic. There are mod... It, I didn't mean modernist. I did not mean modernist. T.S. Eliot is a modernist. Modern is different from modernist. Did you understand? Modern is different from modernist. Then, sought to depoeticize poetry. Who tried to depoeticize poetry? Using the language of the streets and daring technical innovations. Who depoeticized poetry? It is Vladimir Mayakovsky who is associated with Russian formalists. Vladimir Mayakovsky. The strongest part of our religion today is its unconscious poetry. Who said? The strongest. Ha criticism se aata hai. It is Matthew Arnold. Matthew Arnold said this. The strongest. He said that poetry will be the solution for our problems. Hai na? Poetry will be the solution for our problems. Poetry will replace uh, philosophy and religion. Then gave graphic expression. Graphic means in painting. Expression to Bloomsbury group ideas. Who is it? Who gave graphic expression to Bloomsbury group ideas? Roger Fry, he is a Bloomsbury group member. Roger Fry of the Omega workshops, he is a Bloomsbury group member. Jan Mukharovsky represented what? Jan Mukharovsky represented what? He is from Prague Linguistic Circle. Prague Linguistic Circle. The terms literariness, who coined the term literariness? Who is associated with literariness? Literariness is associated with defamiliarization. Defamiliarization is related to literariness. Defamiliarization of Shkolovsky. The term defamiliarization is Shkolovsky. Shkolovsky. Then the term foregrounding. Jan Mukharovsky is associated with the term foregrounding. The term foregrounding Jan Mukharovsky. Then the term scats. What is foregrounding? Foregrounding is distortion of a certain kind. I will explain. Literariness. I will explain a little bit. Literariness means language made strange. Language is made strange deliberately in Russian formalism. Okay. L literature nast or language made strange. Then defamiliarization means de-automatization. Austranini or defamiliarization is de-automatization. Will you remember? De-automatization. 
defamiliarization is de-automatization. Will you remember? Not making things automatic. Then, the term foregrounding means distortion of language in some way. Okay? Then Jan Mukharovsky founded it. Then, the term scats. Scats is a kind of narrative technique. Scats is a kind of narrative technique that brings the element of the narrator into a character level. Narrator becomes like a character. Scats is uh, where the narrator becomes like a character. Scats is associated with Boris Eichenbaum. Scats is associated with Boris Eichenbaum. Who is a member of Chicago School? Chicago School is also called Neo-Aristotelians. Chicago School means Neo-Aristotelians. Chicago School is Neo-Aristotelians. R.S. Crane is the example, is the figure. R.S. Crane, Elder Olson, Richard McKeon, Wayne C. Booth. R.S. Crane, Elder Olson, Richard McKeon, Wayne C. Booth. They are members of Chicago School. Did you understand? Method of I.R. Richards, F.R. Lewis and William Emson. What is it called? It is practical criticism. Method of I.R. Richards, F.R. Lewis and M William Emson is called practical criticism. New criticism, the term was first used by... Who first used the term new criticism? It is Joel Spingarn. Now we are starting. Uh, what are we starting? I am going to start. Extemporary questions session. Ready? Okay. Shall I ask you? You answer, okay? Now I am going to ask you. F.R. Lewis's survey of English poetry from 17th to 20th centuries. Bolo. Consar. F.R. Lewis a survey of English poetry from 17th to 20th century. Bolo. Consar. Which one is it? Is it new bearings, revaluations, common pursuit? Which one is it? Is it new bearings in English poetry, revaluation? It is revaluation. Re Tradition and development in English poetry. Full title Revaluation, Re Tradition and Development in English Poetry. Can you read properly? Revaluation, Re Tradition and Development in English Poetry. Remember that, okay? Now you can read. Ready for next question, guys? F.R. Lewis defended Milton in the book Dash. Bolo. F.R. Lewis defended Milton in the book Dash. Which is it? Bolo. F.R. Lewis defended Milton in the book The Common Pursuit. F.R. Lewis defended Milton in the book The Common Pursuit. Don't forget, okay? Now.
Next question to you. William Emerson analyzed Milton's works in the book Dash. Bolo. William Emerson analyzed Milton's works from a rational perspective. In the book Dash. William Emerson analyzed Milton's works from a rational perspective in the book Milton's God. Did you know William Emerson wrote Milton's God? That is right. Many of you are saying the answer. Many of you said the answer. Who talked about the novel as dramatic poem. Who talked about the novel as dramatic poem? Bolo. It is F.R. Lewis. F.R. Lewis talked about the novel as dramatic poem. F.R. Lewis talked about it. Next question to you. Ready for next question? Tough question. The concrete universal and the domain of criticism are two parts of the work dash by William K. Wimsat. Concrete Universal and the Domain of Criticism are two parts of which work by William K. Wimsat? It is the work Hateful Contraries. Hateful Contraries. Studies in Literature and Criticism. Hateful Contraries. Studies in Literature and Criticism. By William K. Wimsat. Will you remember guys? Next question to you. J.C. Ransom's essay Criticism Incorporated was published as Part of the book dash. J.C. Ransom's essay Criticism Incorporated was published as part of the book dash. Is this helping you guys? It is part of the book World's Body. World's Body. Then next question to you. Ready for next question? Who advocated ontological criticism? Ontological criticism means criticism should be about criticism. You know, you should study criticism, not about criticism. Ontological criticism means you should study criticism, not about criticism. It is J.C. Ransom. J.C. Ransom. J.C. Ransom. Next question to you. Ready for next question? Who is associated with? H. 
heresy of paraphrase. Who is associated with heresy of paraphrase? Bolo. It is Cleanth Brooks. Heresy of paraphrase, Cleanth Brooks. Is this helping you guys? Did you all like the video? Next question to you. Who developed the concept of tension in poetry? Who developed the concept of tension in poetry? It is Alan Tate. Alan Tate developed the concept of tension in poetry. Is this okay? I'm sorry I didn't get time to make the questions. That's why some of the questions I'm making along with you. I hope you don't mind. I didn't get time for everything. Um, which are the four biographies in eminent Victorians? Which are the four biographies in eminent Victorians? They are the biographies of Cardinal Manning, Florence Nightingale, Thomas Arnold, and General Charles Gordon. General Charles Gordon. These are the four biographies in um, eminent Victorians. Will you remember? Okay. Next question. Is it okay that I am typing? I hope you are enjoying. And I hope you will remember also. Which essay did Virginia Woolf argue that women should kill the angel in the house? In which essay did Virginia Woolf argue that women should kill the angel in the house? It is professions for women. Professions for women. In relation to which writer did D.H. Lawrence develop the concept of blood consciousness? In relation to which other writer did D.H. Lawrence develop the concept of blood consciousness? It is Thomas Hardy. Thomas Hardy. Will you remember? Which critic who criticized Eliot? was the founding editor of the journal Adelphi. Who was the founding editor of the journal Adelphi? Blood consciousness means D.H. Lawrence believed that in both Hardy and Lawrence, people should be connected directly to the blood or origins. Especially women are connected like that. Uh, and one means of one way in which we get connected to our origins is sexuality. Okay, that is blood consciousness. This is John Middleton Murray. John Middleton Murray, husband of Catherine Mansfield. Today in plus I made a mistake. I said he is the husband of Marianne Moore. 
plus babies will you remind me tomorrow to tell them uh, it is not marian mor it is catherine mansfield yo sorry guys which is the representative anthology of the chicago school the representative anthology of the chicago school bolo critics and criticism ancient and modern critics and criticism ancient and modern easy question who coined the term implied author who coined the term implied author it is wayne c booth in the rhetoric of fiction wayne c booth in the rhetoric of fiction will you remember everyone morphology of the folk tale was published in russian in 1928 when was it published in english morphology of the folk tale was published in russian in a ah, yeah 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 concrete universal as in verbal icon i'm not able to look at your messages because i'm typing morphology of the folk tale was published in English in 1958 will you remember 1958 yeah vladimir pro how many character functions in folk tales did prop identify how many character functions in folk tales did prop identify it is 7 31 structural functions and 7 character functions 31 structural functions and 7 character functions please read extra about it then you will remember please read extra okay how to do things with words is a compilation of his of lectures by dash how to do things with words is a compilation of lectures william james lectures it was how to do things with words is a compilation of william james lectures delivered by J L Austin, that is right. J L Austin. Then, um, who made contributions to communicative language teaching? then discourse analysis global spread of english and stylistics this name is remembered in all these things 
development of ESP. ESP is English for special purposes. All these things developed by Henry Widowson. Henry Widowson, very important figure. I am just giving you information in the question. Okay, Widowson. Will you remember? Then. Ready for another question guys? Are you loving this or is it boring? I will ask you some Shakespearean criticism. How many children had Lady Macbeth? Is by which which is an essay that which criticized A.C. Bradley's How many children had Lady Macbeth which criticized A.C. Bradley's Shakespearean tragedy is by L.C. Knights. L.C. Knights. Will you remember guys? Then, who wrote Othello? An essay to illustrate a method. Othello, an essay to illustrate a method. Do you know? 1951. It is Kenneth Burke. Kenneth Burke. Don't forget, okay? Next question, ready? Who in 1935 analyzed illness and injury images in Hamlet? Who in 1935 analyzed illness and injury images in Hamlet? I am asking a trick question. It is another way of saying. It is another way of saying. Yeah, 1951 was Kenneth Burke. Correct. It is another way of saying. Who wrote Shakespeare's imagery? Who wrote Shakespeare's imagery? Now you answer. Carolyn Spurgeon. If only I say Shakespeare's imagery, you will know. Eh? You should know images. Imagery is by Carolyn Spurgeon. 19. She was the first woman professor. She was the first woman professor. Then, uh, next question. I'm just... Typing another question. I hope you don't mind my typing like this. I hope you don't mind. Who studied Shakespeare's handwriting and wrote what happens in Hamlet? Who studied Shakespeare's handwriting and wrote what happens in Hamlet? Did you know somebody studied Shakespeare's handwriting? Wow, it is Dover Wilson. Yo ever nahi Dover. Dover Wilson. Study okay? Who analyzed the Tudor myth in Shakespeare's place? 
who analyzed the Tudor myth in Shakespeare's history plays? It is E. M. W. Tilliard. E. M. W. Tilliard. All 20th century critics. What does the term wheel of fire denote? I will give you options. Is it tragic hero or fate? What does the term wheel of fire denote? Tragic hero or fate? Bolo, 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 bolo. Bolo. It is tragic hero. Tragic hero is, you know, the meaning of wheel of fire. The tragic hero characterized by. Yo. The tragic hero characterized by a tragic flaw. I deliberately gave fate to mislead you. Wheel of fire refers to the tragic hero characterized by a tragic flaw. Will you please read extra about all this? Okay. Wilson Knight. Ore, an academy girl goes gay. Please join an academy for one or two days. Nobody is joining. An academy is thinking Kalyani is no good. We are uh, wrong in inviting Kalyani to join an academy. Nobody likes her. Nobody likes wants her classes. Me kya bolu usko? I don't know. Which critical essay was written in reply to Walter Besant? Which critical essay was written in reply to Walter Besant? It is Henry James's. The art of fiction. The art of fiction. Are an academy girl fill se bus gay. Guys, why don't you come and join one academy for one or two months, please? Use my referral code Kalyani Vallat also. Otherwise, they will not know you joined because of me. Okay. Who talked about panoramic vision and scenic vision in novels? It is Percy Lubbock in The Craft of Fiction. Percy Lubbock in The Craft of Fiction. ta -da -da. Next question. Is it okay? Everything is fine for you? How many aspects of the novel did Foster discuss? Foster discussed seven aspects of the novel. They are story, People, plot, story, people, plot, fantasy, prophecy, then pattern and rhythm. Will you remember? Seven aspects. Ta -da -da. Story, people, plot, fantasy, prophecy, pattern, rhythm. Next question. Ready for another question? Ian, uh, Ian Watts, The Rise of the Novel, 
focused on which three writers? Are you loving the questions, guys? Tararang! <laughs> it is subtitled, Rise of the Novel is subtitled, Studies in B4, Richardson and Fielding. D4, Richardson and Fielding. Will you remember? Now, the hero with a thousand faces is by who wrote the hero with a thousand faces? Hi, it is by Joseph Campbell. Joseph Campbell. Francis Ferguson and Philip Wheelwright. R dash critics. Francis Ferguson. And Philip Wheelwright are dash critics. They are myth critics. Myth critics. Am I boring you? Are you? Are people leaving the session? I don't know. Then. Which is. Northrop Fry's early book on William Blake. Which is Northrop Fry's early book on William Blake? It is Fearful Symmetry. Fearful symmetry. Will you remember? Next question. In which chapter of the anatomy of criticism does Fry develop? The five, the basic, the five name, the basic narrative patterns develop the theory of the basic narrative patterns based on the seasons. Romance, comedy, tragedy, satire, and irony. Chapter 3. Migam, when in doubt, always say 3. <laughs> it is chapter 3. Who said Canadian literature? is defined by its garrison mentality. Canadian that means themes of Defensive tone. Defensive and didactic tone. 
नॉर्थ रफ राइट नॉर्थ रफ राइट विल यू रिमेंबर गाइस नॉर्थ रफ राइट इज कैनेडियन Whose essay is politics versus literature and examination of Gulliver's Travels? Gulliver's Travels, nineteen forty-six. 1946. Canadian wrongly spelled. Huh? I will change. It is George Orwell. George Orwell. George Orwell. Will you remember? Last extemporary session. My last question. Extemporary. My last question. Hey, okay. Who wrote a massive eight-volume history of modern criticism? A massive eight-volume history of modern criticism. Kids, ne likha. Is it? It is Rene Velik. Rene Velik. Okay, now we have questions already given here. Shall I move on to that? Tada! -da, crash course, join karo. Complete course, join karo. Quiz time. Which novelist among the following was not included in the great tradition of F. R. Lewis? This is net style questions. Which novelist is not included in the great tradition? Jane Austen to hai, D. H. Lawrence to hai, Joseph Conrad bhi hai, George Eliot hai, lekin Thomas Hardy nahi hai. Thomas Hardy is the answer. The future of poetry is an important essay in the field of new criticism. Or a kisne likha future of poetry? और अब इन दो तो नहीं है हु रोड फ्यूचर ऑफ पोइट्री इट इज आई ए रिचर्ड्स आई ए रिचर्ड्स रोड फ्यूचर ऑफ पोइट्री डोंट फॉरगेट ओके पॉलिटिक्स एंड लेटर्स इंटरव्यूज विथ न्यू लेफ्ट रिव्यू इज एन अकाउंट ऑफ द लाइफ एंड वर्क्स ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स एंड लेटर्स इंटरव्यूज विथ न्यू लेफ्ट रिव्यू रेमंड विलियम्स Raymond Williams The well tempered critic is a collection of essays by The well tempered critic is a collection of essays by did you know that Northrop Fry The well tempered critic is a collection of essays by Northrop Fry The hidden god studies in Hemingway Faulkner Yeats Eliot and Warren is a book of essays by the hidden god it is clean the brooks clean the brooks then or the visual imagination of d h lawrence <gasps> is a book of literary criticism by pata hai mujhe bhi nahi pata tha keith aldrich Keith Aldrich. अभी खत्म नहीं हुआ और है रेडी और क्वेश्चन के लिए रेडी एक मिनट दो मुझे ठीक है टैर डैंग पोइट्री एंड ड्रामा इज एन एस एन दिएटर बाई Poetry and Drama is an essay on the theatre by T. S. Eliot. Poetry and Drama is by T. S. Eliot. 
Elizabethan essays, essays ancient and modern are collect collections of essays by Elizabethan essays, very early book. It is T.S. Eliot. You have to read everything extra, promise me. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. Will you please read extra study or only 10 p.m. enjoyment? The Correspondent Greece is a book of literary criticism by who wrote the yo who wrote, wrote the Correspondent Breeze Bolo? Are will you like the video, please? Will you please like the video, guys? Bohat logo ne video like kiya. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> the correspondent breeze kis ne liga mujhe bhi nahi pata. It is A.M.H. Abrams. Correspondent breeze is by M.H. Abrams. The term new criticism was first used by Stephen Greenblatt in... <laughs> 10 p.m. enjoyment mujhe pata hai. <laughs> <laughs> the term new historicism in the power of forms in the English Renaissance. Now, Kabbalah and criticism. Easy to know because Kabbalah is Jewish. Dunya bhar ke critics ke baare mein aap bol rahe ho answers mein. Kyu? Jo critics yaha options mein bhi nahi hai, wo bhi aap likhte ho. Kyu? Bahad maza I know. <laughs> Kabbalah and criticism is Harold Bloom. Harold Bloom. Correct, correct, correct. Which among the following is a critical work on Voltaire by Friedrich Nietzsche? Wow, Friedrich Nietzsche wrote about Voltaire. Human, all too human. Human, all too human. Okay. <laughs> Northrop Fry borrowed the idea of two levels of knowledge. Wow. Nows and Dianoia from Sorry, Muttu Rajesh. I was only saying something stupid in Hindi. I didn't say anything important in Hindi. The Republic. You know why, Muthu Rajesh? I don't know how to say important things in Hindi also. <laughs> Plato's Republic. Northrop Fry borrowed the ideas of Nose and Dianoia from Plato's Republic. Tadadang. Which movement was a major reaction against biographical determinism and the positivism of the 19th century? Which movement was a major reaction against biography and positivism? You can say Russian formalism, even though new criticism is also there. minute. Russian formalism. Then, new criticism is not about all these larger things. Um, new criticism bhi galat nahi hai, lekin Russian formalism is better answer. Now, who of the following employed the term organic formalism to refer to the poetic object? Because all elements in it are organically related to one another as in a plant. Organic formalism. It is Coleridge. Coleridge, every, the, the parts of a poem is like a plant. Then, who of the following explained the theories of Benedetto Croce in a book called The New Criticism in 1911? Who explained the theories of Benedetto Croce? It is Joel Spingarn. Joel Spingarn. Eliot's tradition and the individual talent appeared in two installments in the journal. 
Eliot's tradition and the individual talent appeared in the journal, The Egoist. And the last question for today. T.S. Eliot explained his idea of dissociation of sensibility in the essay. T.S. Eliot explained his idea in E.Z., the metaphysical poets. So, this is once again an academy girl asking you, Haat Jodke, please uh, subscribe to an academy so that you will get everything. Thank you, amazing students. You're all wonderful. You know a lot of things. I'm so, so, so proud of you. Uh, you are as much my teachers as I am your teacher. Okay, we are learning all of us together here. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, see you tomorrow. Please study well. All these days in the coming days, study really well. Enjoy what you are studying. And uh, you will all pass the exam. I'm praying that God will be with you and you will all pass the exam. Okay. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. After net, you should give me a couple of days break, okay? And don't forget about me that I want to sleep and take rest. And What is the name of your unacademy girl? An academy girl is me. This is Kalyani Valat. Migam didn't understand. This is me. Are kya hai Migam? Ye to main ho na Kalyani Valat. Dekho mera shakal. <laughs> Look at my face. This is me. This is me. This is me. <laughs> Migam is asking who is an academy girl. Ayyo. 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 <laughs> Okay, bye-bye. See you. <laughs> she, he thought it is actually some girl. <laughs> Captain Kalyani Valat. Yes. <laughs> bye. <laughs>